Howdy folks, Joko here, and um, I've got a task one to do tonight, a, t a task one to review. Um, I had no great title for it, but you'll see when I talk about the, uh, the years on a chart or a table are very important, not just for your task uh, achievement, but also your grammar. That's my website, as much as it is, and hey, that's me. So, what do we got tonight? Hidden away in the depths of the essays that were tagged with waiting feedback. I found one and been marked, and I know the uh, question very well. She asked, Hi, please evaluate and give Ben score for my writing task one. Why, why? Could I get 6.0 band score? Hmm, well, okay, I know there's people who that's what they need. It's not that hard. Let's see if we can do it. Now, the average writing score worldwide are, is about a 5.6, so it's above average. Question and answer are in the picture already. Thank Toy very much. Well, thank Toy. Uh. Okay, what is a band six? Ah, that's too hard to look at. That's bands four through nine in task achievement, a little different than task response. So let's look at it, just, just the important ones here. Five, six, and seven. All right, well, what does it take to get a band six? It's so unusual to uh, be asking that. It's unusual to be answering that because you're usually looking at higher. All right, so you have to address the requirements of the task and present an overview with information appropriately selected. That's task achievement. You're gonna organize your ideas a little bit. You can like make some mistakes in referencing. You can have some faulty cohesion. In LR, you just need to use an adequate range of vocabulary. And here's the important part. Errors in spelling or word formation must not impede communication. In five, your errors in words and vocabulary cause confusion. And um, here we have some complex sentences. What is our graphic? Well, it's a classic. It's one of the one of the great ones. The graphic from a 2008 report about consumption of energy in the USA. That's one. Yay. Now, I know it very well because that's part of the course I teach. Um, it's from Cambridge eight, I think, or seven, one of those two, eight, eight or seven. And here's some keynotes when you look at this. Yeah. Where? In the USA. The USA. Also known as the United States or America, or sometimes all uh, the United States of America. Note, this is key. It's a 2008 report. When I talked about paying attention to the years, that's what I mean. You'll find out. Well, energy use, not coal use or nuclear use or petrol and oil. It's energy use. And it's sorted by the fuel from which the energy was produces. Okay, produced. In quadrillions. Probably the only time in your whole life you'll need to deal with quadrillions of anything. Unless you get into physics. Well, even then they would just say, 10 to the power of 16, or something like that. Americans consume, look, that's a number, 35 quadrillion, my God. It's a line graph, and it's got past and future, and, um, and present, and, and here's the thing, you've even got future in the past. I know, blows your mind, but because it was in 2008 that it was made, and it talked about years that are in the past from now, you get to you get to use future in the past. Doesn't happen often. So now the, the band the, for task achievement, it says addresses all parts of the task. Well, every task one is going to have this inform this paragraph in it. I won't go through I, I do this all the time, but here's the important things. You must summarize to Address the task. You must summarize. Select main features. Not just any features, main features. Report those features accurately and make comparisons. 
Those are the things you must do. Now, with any task one, it's good for to look for a natural way to sort of split it into two halves. That way you can um, use those to guide your body paragraphs. This is not, you know, rocket science I'm teaching here, but when people, this is well known. But what do you do here? Here we have like three groups, right? We could go history and projections or, oh, oh what's this? Oh. My bullet points. <laughs> I don't know. That's my cat. So, no. Let's look for ways to combine data into groups. Skip that song. Yeah. So, for example, what do these cat... This is so typical. Cats in the way. What do these three have in common? Petroleum, coal, and natural gas are all fossil fuels. Yay! What do these have in common? Are they renewables? No, they are not renewables. Nuclear energy is not renewable. It is, however, an alternative energy. So, first half of the overview, we talk about and this, second half, this. All right, do some quick math. 1520, that's 35. Hey, that's the same as that. These two put together, well, not are about the same as that. Come on. That'll help you. Here is what our friend from Thailand uh, submitted into the tips and tricks. Uh, it's a it's a JPEG. It's a it's an image. It's not a it's not a text file, so I couldn't do my regular thing with it. But um, what we've got here is an uh, interesting. Is she a six? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Seven minutes in, and I'm just now getting into the uh, to the conversation of the breakdown. The colors indicate which of the band descriptors I'm talking about. And we're going to start with the introduction. An introduction should show what the graph shows. Paraphrased. Essentially, this paraphrased. Okay, the line graph illustrates the six types of energy consumption. Okay. Well, no. It doesn't illustrate the types of consumption. What does it illustrate? It illustrates the types of fuel that was used to con to produce the energy that was consumed. So you got fuel to production to consumption. And you really don't need to list all of these in USA. Oh, I should have, you know, in the USA. No, oh, badger. Types of fuel. Uh, petro. Uh, don't want to misspell the words from the graph. Uh, oh yeah, solar of wind. No, it's solar and wind. USA always takes the. Uh, in USA from 1980, with projections. To projection. No, 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 no. Unit. Is there just one? There are units. Units are measured in quadrillions in this case we use quadrillions okay so now the more important part the overview in fact it is the most important part of task one this is where you make it or blow it in task one what do we got overall the most of energy consumption has been being petro and oil while the least has been being nuclear, solar of wind, and hydropower. Uh huh. You have. Uh, I, I, you're from Thailand, I know, but I guess this is worldwide, where someone has told you that an overview is reporting the highest and the lowest, and that's what you need to look for. Uh, no, <laughs> no. What does this tell you, really? Anything about the graph as a whole? I mean, what do you, what do you, what, what's the trend? Look, it's a trend is starts here, goes up here, starts here, goes up here, starts here, goes well, mostly up here, a little bit. <coughs> the overview is the most important thing on the graph. Is energy use increasing or decreasing? Is there anything obvious in terms of, well, yes, petrol and oil, obviously the most, but, you know, okay, the grammar overall has been being 
Well, you've got two time periods and also the present. If you wanted to explain it your way, you would probably want to say something like, petrol and oil is the most used fuel over the period. Because has been being doesn't make any sense. Or the most used fuel in energy production has been and is predicted to continue to be oil and gasoline. Now, here, has been and also is predicted. You got all the time. But your overview should set up your body paragraphs. And so if you just talk about the highest and the lowest, where are you going to put this? Now, note, the least indicates one thing. And you mentioned three. That's not an overview with, I don't know, is it, is it a band six overview? I don't know. Okay, so again, your body paragraph should mirror the overview. Regarding. No, no, no. Can't have regarding by itself to start a sentence. Petro. And oil was consumed around 35 quadrillion. No, no, sorry. You need to recognize that it's not petrol and oil that's being consumed in the chart. It is... Can I go back? What's being consumed? Energy. The petro and oil is used to make the energy. So this is not accurate. Around 35 quadrillion in 1980 fluctuated that's good language in the past more no numbers we don't know when the past is then it sharply increased but well, we're talking about this right from 19 from 2000 here to 2019 where's 2019 on the chart well it goes to 2020 here 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 is that sharply increasing i would say it is not sharply increasing it's gradually increasing so your description is not accurate. And it is 43 quadrillion in this year. You mean from the perspective of 2019? Yeah, yeah, numbers are right, but this was written in 2008, right? So um, it increased. It, it's When they wrote it, they didn't know what would happen. It's, you know, if, so, anyway, going on. The coal. No, no, just coal. No, the coal. Coal and natural gas were similar from the past. What? But they have been a significant differencing from 2015 to 2000. Okay, so this is what you're trying to describe here, right? But whereas coal increased, uh, natural gas is predicted to remain flat so does not very does not it, it, you know what to show you just don't have the language to do it yet on the other hand i don't recommend uh using on the other hand but yet i see here that you understand how they're supposed to be oh yeah we'll increase predictions precision on the other hand i've used it but better to use by contrast by, by contrast, uh -huh. have a remain. Attempt to use the present perfect. From about four, they were similar in 1980. They were the same. To about eight, five, and four between 1990 to 20. Uh, what, what, what? That's the. No, there's no. This, we don't know what eight, five, and four mean. You're seeing it here on the graph, but the person reading this doesn't see the graph. What? Yeah. So, where do we go next? Did you get your six? Do I care? Does anybody else care? Well, I do. All right. So here's your your here's what you've done. In task achievement, did you present address? all the requirements of the task well, what is that summarize you did summarize somewhat but i don't think you selected the um correct information you didn't mention anything about the overall growth and comparisons oh god that's tough and is this a pr uh. 
Well, five is no clear overview. Well, your overview was unclear, but it was clearly your overview. That's one of the weird things about the words in this is that, you know, how do you, how do you interpret that? So, um, however, the organization uh, doesn't feel like it's um, organized. <laughs> so, borderline, borderline, borderline. However, your vocabulary was limited and, um, and um, yeah, it could be a six in, in grammar, but your grammar... Uh, they con it's confusing, particularly there at the end. One of those four categories is going to be a five. I don't know which one, but as long as one of them is, and none of them are sevens, and even if it's six, 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 five, you have to achieve the score. Not they don't round up. So if you don't get a six and everything, you don't get a six. So you need to think about clear overviews, not just doing the highest and lowest, and make sure you're clear in your description. Uh, here's what I wrote on the same topic. Okay, um, several types of fuel had been used. I'm just showing off my grammar there. And how future use is predicted. Quadrillions of years out. I just say Q. Overall, it can be seen that the amount of fuel used grew over most categories and that this trend will continue with fossil fuels. As we'll continue with fossil fuels as the significantly dominant energy source. And then I talk about fossil fuels and then I talk about oh, you know what, this doesn't really mirror my I wrote this about 3 years ago. <laughs> I didn't really look at it until tonight. But here I break it up into um Fossil fuels and alternative sources of energy, which is a way to use your Lexus as well. Okay, here's what I'm sure many of you are tuning in for at the 17 and a half minute mark. My survey. Okay, how much natural gas was used in 1980? Well, uh, 1980, natural gas, 20. But that does not indicate how much natural gas was used. No, it indicates how many units of energy were consumed not gas not no it's energy it's 20 quadrillion units of energy whatever those are so that's a lot sure <laughs> and there's no way to know uh, because this just tells us how much energy was made how much electricity was made by coal in 1980 once again Two. Okay, less than 20 quadrillion units. Yeah, a lot less. And once again, you need to be close as possible to the answer. Uh, just over 15 Q. Uh, no, well, there's something closer. About 17 quadrillions. Now, in the instructions, it said it must be grammatically correct. And this is not grammatically correct. You say 17 quadrillion, not quadrillions. And that number, 17 quadrillion, 125 trillion, 2 billion, 500 million, 284,000 kilowatt hours is the standard way to measure electricity, right? But we're not talking about electricity. We're talking about energy, right? Well, coal is not used for anything else. A little bit in heating, but not much else. It's just used to make electricity. There's no coal trains anymore. Now here's where the uh, the three sources that uh, the three sources that are used the least are all types of renewable energy. Nope, nuclear is not renewable. Okay, this is where people got pissed off because there's no answer here. Um, let's look at these here. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2010 to 2015. The use of natural grass grass increased. Well, 2010, 2015, oh yeah, it increased. No! In an IELTS Task 1 report, 
on this graph, with this information given to you, which would be correct? Well, back in 2008, they predicted that it would go up. Did it go up? Who knows? Maybe it did. Really, from 2000 to 2015, the use of natural gas was predicted to increase. It didn't increase. We don't know that. 2009, you had 9-11. Could have been gone, could have been decreased. Who knows? Most of the energy used by Americans comes from petrol and oil. No. Oh, wait, I, I skipped one. Coal and oil, petrol and oil, or petrol comes from oil, petroleum, uh, were the only two fuels whose use was projected to increase steadily. Yeah, coal, petrol, oil. Does this, is this an increase steadily? No, no, that's just a little increase at the end. Yeah, went over that. Hydroelectric power is not an important source of energy in the USA. The answer is incorrect. Now, I said this because in an IELTS Task 1 report, in an IELTS Task 1 report, you never include things like important because that's an opinion. I mean, the people who live near the dam and get their electricity from it, that's sure important to them. But anyway, it's an opinion. You do, it's, not, it's not used correctly in Task 1. Now, here's where I made a mistake originally and I had to fix it. The energy produced by fossil fuels was about 10 times greater than that coming from alternative sources individually in 1980. Correct. 35, 25, and 17 is 72. That looks like about 7 to me. Individually, they had about 7. Combined, 72. Oh, I'm such a mean teacher. Mean, mean, mean teacher. The amount of electricity produced by petrol and oil was the greatest over the whole period. Well, it looks true to me, right? Well, no, we don't really know that. Why? Because once again, we're not talking about electricity. We're talking about energy. What's the difference? Well, what? You never you ever heard of a gas power, a gas electric plant? They don't make electricity with gasoline, what the English call petrol. And yeah, there's some oil electric plants, but not the majority. So what is this? Why is this the highest? Well, you shouldn't say why, but it's obvious that by energy, they mean all the power that's needed to do things in the world like gasoline to move your car around. And that's not electricity, that's energy. We need to improve our energy um, usage. Well, yeah, that's everything, not just electricity. So there we are, folks. <laughs> 23 minutes. Yeah.